Are you coming to do some filming? Yeah, it's video day at CJ's Keto Kitchen. Or Sarah's Kitchen. In Sarah's Kitchen. <laughs> We're on location at Sarah's Kitchen. <laughs> Everybody. Welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. So next Sunday is the Super Bowl. So we thought in honor of the Super Bowl and football in general, because obviously I'm not going for either the Patriots or the Eagles. I am supporting my home team. But we are going to be making buffalo drumsticks. So instead of chicken wings, which can be kind of meager, uh, we're going to be making drumsticks, but they're going to be buffalo style. They're very easy and quick. So we're gonna show you how to do that. And in addition to that, we're also Thank looking at what's called a million dollar dip. Now I have never personally made this, my sister has made it, but it's sweeping the internet. So I'm going to attempt to make it. And what better way to provide snacks, either for just your family or if your friends are coming over, than wings and a dip. So please come with us and we're gonna make some party food. They're in, from the U.S. Okay, so this is the whole reason that we are going to make chicken drumstick, buffalo drumsticks versus buffalo wings. Look at the size difference in what you're getting. Plus, these are four dollars and twenty-two cents for a pound, and and forty-one, so almost a pound and a half. This is five pounds a little more than five pounds and it's only three dollars and 58 cents it's going to taste just like a chicken wing you're going to have tons more meat so the secret to the fried taste and appearance is baking powder so we are going to use two tablespoons of baking powder and we're going to put this in the bottom of our bag you don't want baking soda, you want baking powder. So two tablespoons. And two tablespoons will do about 16 drumettes. So I have found personally that I like to do basically half of my drumsticks at a time and then do another baggie full and do the other half. I'm also going to put some garlic powder in my bag because I like things garlicky. So this is just garlic powder, and I'm just going to eyeball it in the bottom of my bag. So kind of just give your bag a little shake, and then we're going to do our drumsticks. <coughs> and I like to um, take a paper towel and take some of the moisture off. The skin is pulled down because we want our crispy skin. And just start putting them in your bag. And by kind of taking the moisture off, that's going to make sure that we get a good stick on our baking powder combination because we want these to turn out really nice and crispy. So, and like I said, I kind of fold my skin back over if it has peeled back a little bit. And what's nice about these drumsticks is um, not, if, not everyone likes the buffalo style. You can season these any way that you like. My daughters like them just what they call chicken on the bone, where it's just fried up like this. So I will give them some for dinner without the buffalo sauce on it. And they just like eating it plain like that. Or uh, as an alternate, you could use, we have a recipe for sugar-free bar barbecue sauce on our channel, and you could make 
barbecue wings. So now I'm going to seal the bag. If I can get the bag to seal. <laughs> and then I'm just going to shake them around. So then we are going to lay them out single file on our tray. And you can see they got nicely seasoned. And you're gonna start out baking these 250 degrees for a half hour and then we're going to raise the temperature and also raise the rack. so we get a nice even cooking. Okay, so our 30 minutes is up and we're going to take this out and you can see they've started to partially cook. Now we're going to take our oven rack and we're going to put it up higher. About the second from the top will be fine. And then we're going to put these guys back in here. And we're going to raise the oven temperature to 450. And we're going to cook them like that for about a half hour. And I'm also going to flip them over during that time. And then as soon as that cooking time is over, we're going to put our buffalo sauce and butter on there and cook our sauce on. So come on back. Okay, so I have melted about a tablespoon of butter and into that I put Frank's wing sauce, buffalo. And I'm just kind of stirring that around. This is a $1 chip brush, paintbrush from Walmart. So if you don't have a brush to brush it on, like a pastry brush or anything, that's a good tip is just go to the $1 over in the paint section, just get a $1 brush because then you can just toss it or you can put it through your dishwasher. Okay, so I just kind of stirred everything up and we're going to coat our drumsticks with our buffalo sauce. They are nice and cooked. So I'm going to brush them on one side, let them cook for a second, and then I'm gonna flip them over and brush the other side. And as I mentioned before, if you um, are not into buffalo sauce, you don't care for buffalo sauce, you can coat these with anything you like. Um, Sugar-free barbecue sauce or anything that your family likes. They're, they're great just plain too. My girls like them just plain. So I don't know if you're close enough to see what the sauce is baked on. The sauce is nicely baked on the side. So I'm going to flip them over so that we get every side covered with sauce. 
and then they'll be done. but girls were filming. Okay, so they're done. You can pull them out of the oven. And the sauce is baked on, but it's, you still have a little bit of saucy. So depending on how saucy you like your chicken wings. Oh, they're ready to eat. Thanks for making snacks with us today. Hopefully you have a satisfactory ending to the football season and whatever team you want to win does. Please come back and join us to make more delicious food. We upload twice a week and both recipes and just ketogenic content. So please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when we put up new videos and come back and make more food with us. Thanks for joining us on CJ's Keto Kitchen. for making snacks with it. I can't talk today, Cassius. Like I said, sometimes <sighs> doing them over and over okay. doesn't make it better. Just relax. I can't. Sure you can. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks for making snacks with us today. Hopefully you have a satisfactory ending to the football season. The talking tummy. <laughs> this roll. Oh, feel your fat right. jokes. <laughs> right. Here. Okay, it was going away. <laughs> Good God. Just relax. Getting all weird. Getting all weird. Are you done? It's boring weird. Yes, I'm done. Okay, good. For now. Is Tina the fat chunk done? Is Tina the talking tummy? Get it right. Okay, Tina the talking <laughs> tummy. Yeah, that was from the Matrix? No, we had two black cats that were brothers that were kittens and we got them as kittens and we were going to name them Neo and Morpheus, but Isaiah couldn't say Neo. Uh, it was like Neho or something <laughs> else because he was only like three years old. So we ended up naming him Bruce and Chuck for Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris. So.